Hey everyone, thanks for joining. You know, here with Farshad, you know, we're gonna do a background, you know, meet the CEO type video. You know, we're gonna get into his background, things that he did, um, you know, before Casa and Double View, and then also chat about where he is today and how is how he got there. So, you know, awesome, Farshad. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Jason. Thank you for having me here. My name is Barsha Chirwani. I, I hold a master's degree in geology, which is the type of work I do. And <laughs> I have been in the business since 1996, directly in downtown Vancouver. So that, that's awesome. How do you get into your, so you got to tell me, I was, a, as a kid, I love collecting rocks. So was it just like a, you know, you just had a huge passion for, for rocks like how does someone get into like you know geology and be like i love this stuff like what made you choose yes. geology we have the only industry perhaps in the world that you can create wealth from rock and dirt <laughs> isn't that a good and um, you know an example of it you pick up a rock and the day before it didn't worth anything you worth five cents now all of a sudden it's ten dollars so two dollars, five dollars. Oh. His excitement is really, really got me getting got me to get into the business, and uh, he started in downtown as a consultant. Amazing. For about uh, six, seven years, I was doing really good. Yeah. My income was really, really good. I was going 1.7 or 2.6 million dollars a year, Ooh. but. At some point, my my son was about two years old, 2005, and um, all of a sudden, my wife said, "Hey, listen, your son doesn't know you. It's a true story." And I said, "Oh, it's impossible. I see him every day." She goes, "You see him every day. He doesn't see you every day." Oh. And I said, "I've done great. I have right now. I've been involved in discoveries of silver and etc." She continues, goes, what is it in, what is in it for you? And I, a light bulb came on and I said, oh, okay. I have to find things for my own sake and for myself. At the same time, opportunities came in to set up a company, Casa. Started with a private uh, company mm -hmm. and I found two properties. I put it in there, then I added lots of properties in my portfolio. I spend a lot of money on those to find out which one is good, still on private. Yeah. Another opportunity came in to go on the board of Barkerville Gold Mines, which was sold for $338 million just a few weeks ago. Yeah. And uh, I was on the board and I had the opportunity to really go about how to do these transactions and how to put the profits together, how to look at the failures and success of mining industry and exploration, how to raise capital. It was a great opportunity. Plus inside it, I pointed to locations to be drilled. I, you know, those are really my picks and they were really humongous goal came out of those. and. Barkeru was absolutely a success. After seven years, I resigned and the company is gone now and uh, on its own. And I've been involved in other uh, discoveries as well in Mexico and, um, you know, in BC. And what I thought I should do it for myself. So for these two companies, I had 40 projects and I started spending 20, 30, 150. Uh, 150 was the max that I was spending on this project privately. Mm -hmm. And I kept four projects for myself, plus two on the lanes. So those are the companies. Each company had three now, three projects, and I had to go out. Saying kids and life, <laughs> I and Double View came about to be the first one going trading. Yeah. The market wasn't really good, you know, it market hasn't been good for a number of years. Yeah. Which is a good thing at this stage because it shows market is thirsty for new deposits, new ventures. Oh. And well, uh, for sure, I mean talking about the market quickly, I mean obviously, I mean precious metals have started to see, you know, 
a, a lot of people call like the stealth bull market, right? It's been pretty good for the past, you know, a half year at least, right? You know, things have been improving fairly well. Um, you know, a lot of big investment guys um, and even just, you know, financial advisors are, you know, starting to diversify their, their portfolio into precious metals, but also cash, you know, is that a sign of things to come? I guess we'll find out. They think so usually, right? But, uh, you know, how overextended um, the U.S. market is, people are now starting to look at gold, looking at silver and stuff, right? So, you know, what what's your kind of take on that? Oh, if you call it, it's been good in the last year or so, watch for what's coming down the pipe. It's next year, this year and next year, is going to be the best bull market in the commodities that we've ever had. It's wow. way, it, it, there are several conduits right now. It has to be in place. China, U.S. deal, uh, U.S. England, U.S. Yeah. Europe, U.S. Canada. Once these guys are in place, all of a sudden business starts, commodities are going to go huge. Guess what? Before November, Mr. Trump needs that. He needs to make it happen. Yeah. He needs it. And those are the wins that he's going to bring to the table. What else is he going to bring? Yeah. And plus, other thing is, for about 10 years, we didn't have gold market. We didn't have copper market. We didn't have silver market. Those are really, really so deprived of seeing the light of the day. All of a sudden, they come in like any other things. Uh, once they start, watch for it. It's going to be a very huge, large uh, market that we jump into. I yeah. believe this time it's going to be a very, very big one and long one. <laughs> no, and hey, you know, you're, you're not the only one saying it. You know, it's been the longest, you know, cycle of growth since the past uh, recession. A lot of people expect that there'll be a long cycle of, you know, commodity growth too. Um, so, hey, you know, I, I, I share the same views as you and a lot of other people do. There's a lot of smart people taking, you know, huge positions in precious metals and in, you know, in cash. Um, so, hey, it's looking good. But before we uh, go forward, let's take a little step back. So let's go back. So you, you graduated master's in geology and then you started doing consulting. Can you talk about any of the companies that, you know, you helped really like what type of consulting, um, you know, I obviously a little bit of background myself i mean i did a co-op uh, taxes wise but i did a co-op for a mine but i assume it's nothing like uh, the consulting you did so you know what what what's involved for a geology consultant yes the day first that i started in this business i was uh, i didn't know basically what windows 95 is <laughs> it was my first time seeing that i didn't know what certain programs are for modeling deposits. But I'm a fast learner, entrepreneur, and I love challenges. So yeah. they throw that in. And I believe it or not, in three, four days, all of a sudden I learned something that many of the people couldn't learn for a long, long time and uh, couldn't even run that program. I started working and I did many projects for many companies I should call like let's say big companies Placer Dome, Tech Corporation and all the other companies that name it. I've had about 350 clients under our roof and doing GIS and modeling and all sorts of beautiful things in exploration, drilling and those are you know, the, as I said, the beauty is when you develop it and you come up with that model yeah. that no one else has done it before. It's so exciting. Oh, well, it's awesome. And, you know, the nice thing about being a consultant, I imagine, is, you know, your head's not just in one place. It's also you've got so many different clients. You've got eyes on everything and you learn so much quicker because you can see all these different companies right you can see okay well this is how this one worked out that's how this one worked out and you can bring things together you know a lot of like very very successful people they started as consultants and then they created their own thing with all the knowledge from everyone else you know and it's great you know you can help people 
get paid for it. You're getting paid to learn, um, and then you can go out and do your own stuff, right? So that's pretty awesome. And you know, what do you say? That's I guess kind of similar to what Casa and Doubleview are. You know, they kind of you are a big consultant. You know, you have this massive experience in helping. You know, like you said, over 300 companies, and you're like, okay, now I think I know how to do it the right way. Is that exactly? Amazing? Exactly. And I, people were asking me, how do you like your job? I said. It's so fun to get paid and have fun. I'm learning things that you cannot read it in any book. Oh, and it's it's also like your baby, right? Like it becomes like kind yes. of like an another kid. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. The learning curve was really good. I learned it really fast. I one of the greatest greatest things that I learned is in the business was how to finance it. Sometimes financing wasn't available in the conventional ways during 2010 until now. We, yeah. fortunately, we didn't have a good market. I'm saying fortunately because it gave me time to get prepared for 2020 and <laughs> so on. Because I wasn't really prepared. Had I had a good market, it would have come and passed by me like there is no tomorrow. But I found very nice ways to finance the overview and on that, those financings, I better call, I better tell you what happened is uh, the company's market cap was $220,000, $230,000. No one would have given me half a million dollars to work on and drill this project. So uh, some people call it gambling, some people call it stupid way of doing that. But I went, talked to my wife. And yeah, some people call it betting on yourself. It. Yes. And exactly, I said, I talked to myself and I said, Did you put your foot where your mouth is? I said, Of course. But where is your money? Then I, I said, Okay, I will talk to my wife. My wife, fortunately, is, uh, knows that what kind of person I am, entrepreneur, and also I'm a hard worker. So I raised the money through that. We drilled it. Uh, believe it or not, on the first five holes, we did have very little to show, basically none. And on the sixth hole, I mortgaged the house one more time. We went there and I had discovery. The discovery started there and drill hole six, seven, eight, nine. Every campaign I go, it's better than the last campaign. Wow. Every campaign I go is better than last campaign. It got me, you know, my wife got so greedy and she goes, hey, we got to keep our percentage in the company high. I don't, I don't want to be deluded. It doesn't matter. We keep the mortgage going, but keep your percentage. You know, we got a very good high percentage in yeah. the company. We double you, you know, with Prince David family, 25%. With the uh, castle, I got 25% because I believe in them. Yeah. And I put, you know, and that, that speaks for a lot, them. right? If you're an investor, this is exactly what you want. You, you know, want a CEO with crazy experience, but also like, hey, they win when you win, right? So it's awesome, you know, to put yourself in that situation where every investor, you know, wins when you win. And, you know, hey, you were the, you were the person willing to take the first gamble, right? But we say gamble, but hey, you, you use your experience and you made an educated, you know, decision. And it, it seems like, you know, things are going in the right direction. So that's awesome. Yeah. It's far from gambling. It's very <laughs> far from gambling. It's the vision. And sometimes I call myself, I'm saying, Hey, listen, I'm not smart. I'm not a gambler. And when I saw this many samples, this many footprints on both these projects with Casa and Double View, I said, you know, this is, really the best way to put your foot forward we're gonna win i'm gonna win that's why i put my money into it otherwise no one would do it and including myself <laughs> if i don't see the footprint of gold copper silver in there and in big numbers and abundant numbers then i don't go there and plus i'm a hard worker very low uh, office expenses, yeah. um, GNA, and with that, you know, there's always 
room for humongous success. And I have one. So far, I've raised, thank God, I've raised about $10 million on one company in the time that no one has raised money. I received phone calls from the other companies and president CEOs, and literally they tell me, my hat is off to you <laughs> on how you, little financings, a million dollars, a million and a half, but I did it. Yeah, and I mean, hey, a lot of that is, you know, a lot of early financing is betting on the person, right? And, you know, it sounds like you got an incredible background, right? You know, helping over 300 companies. If to an investor, it should be, hey, this is, this guy knows what to look for, right? Um, and so that's awesome. And, you know, hey, I, I think that's great. You know, the background's incredible. I love how, you know, you led it to like how you decided to to kind of choose the, the properties that you have now. And, you know, that's fantastic. And I guess, you know, let's kind of leave it there uh, we can thank people and and move forward you know we're excited to tell everyone that we're going to be having weekly interviews like this where people can you know ask questions we can talk about um you know different things happening at casa and double view um and, and of course we'll talk about them individually as we go but also we want to make sure that there's still an avenue where people can come in and interact um together you know we're going to be setting up a telegram group where people can join, ask you questions, ask the team questions, but also, you know, talk to others um, and, you know, talk to other investors, other people that have, have been interested. And, you know, it's going to be a great place where we can pull questions from, we can put into future videos. So, you know, th thanks for joining me. And I know you, you've got an exciting, uh, you know, next couple of weeks ahead, which is awesome, you know, leading up leading up to some some good announcements as well as, uh, you know, you're coming, you're coming to Toronto, you know, we'll be going to that show Absolutely. together. So yeah. that, that's super exciting and look forward to seeing anyone there who's going to be going as well. And you know, we look forward to shooting the next video. I believe I have the best year of Double View and CASA this year. And uh, gradually I'm getting started on CASA. Double View is way ahead of the game. And we've had humongous deals on this company. People can review it on our website and hope to see you guys again soon. Awesome, awesome. Well, thanks for a shot. We'll, we'll talk soon. Thank you. Talk to you soon.